My partner hangs out with his teenage daughter's friends. I find it weird. No, I'm done with the question. No. <laughs> no. So the part, no. the, the dude's 42. No. This no. woman right in 40. She's <laughs> <laughs> so in summary, I'll it's have weird. imaginary friends before Get I have. Yeah, this guy yeah. needs to stop hanging out with his daughter and her friends. That's weird. That's a fucked up. No, no, no. That's not summary. Summary is when these cameras cut, we're yeah. gonna find out who that is and we're reporting them. You're getting you're getting snitched on. He, Hundred. He saw his cousin get slapped up for snitching and he's snitching. Yeah, yeah, get rid of the guy. Man. Oh, yo, yeah, leave him. Yeah, yeah. Man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. When did he meet you? That's the real question. How old ask. is she? Yeah. I swear she's like 18 as well. Gotta be. No, 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 no. She, no, she's 40. They met six years. In dog years. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of them late nights and them wet wipes. I'm Michael Akadiri and I'm joined by, to my right, uh, Kazim Jamal. To my far left, we've got AKA Whitey's. <laughs> Dar- 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 Darren Griffiths <laughs> and our very 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 special guest once again we've got Emmanuel Sanubi hey, yeah. big up big up big up big up bullet bullet right. hey man anyone got anything they want to reflect on from last week's episode anything on their mind anything that's happened yeah, in the quick, past week quick one yeah so I went on a holiday went on a, um, on a trip with the family down to Bournemouth Bournemouth. Nice. We should and do. We, people should do more of that day trips in the country. Yeah. It's not always fly out. No, you exactly, know. and because of money. But um, it's <laughs> <laughs> support British tourism, guys. No, um, so um, daughter was playing in the sand. This other two other kids came over. They're all playing. It's all nice. And then the kid goes, "Have you got any more toys?" And my wife's like, "No, no, there's no more toys." And he's oh, okay, and he literally goes around the back of the chair. Goes into our bag. It goes. Oh, but I, I found one. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Pause. Like that, ooh, no, I feel like young no, 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 no. MIA. Had that. No. Ooh, like what? Right. This isn't your child now. No. So let's call this child A. Yep. Has played with your child. Yep. And then said, "I want to play with a new toy." Came and asked you for said new toy. Yep. You told this child no. Yep. The child called you a liar, basically. Essentially. And went to search your bag. Well, let, if, let's, if we take his actions in best faith, he thinks we don't know we have more toys. And he's like, oh, no, you've got you've got more toys. So. Where, where's parents of child A? Wait, here it comes. So Naomi's a teacher. She knows how to talk to kids. So she's like, oh, no, 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 no. You don't go through people's bags. You put that back. And he's like, oh, and then his dad. From, uh, like, from Describe dad. I need to see dad in my head. Guy, forties, Egyptian. Okay. So uh, he uh, he he starts shouting. <laughs> he start he starts shouting at his son. He goes, "What are you doing?" He goes, "Get over." He goes, "I'll get- calm down now." Yeah. Oh, now I'm calm. Right, right. Yeah, all right. So he goes, "What are you doing?" He goes, "What are you doing?" He goes, "Come over now." And then he goes, "What are you doing?" And he goes, You're "Going through people's space." You don't do that. You got to apologize. Go and apologize. So he's oh, I like he starts. Such African dad shit. He goes, come over here for me to send you back. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, come over here. Yeah. Go and apologise. And Noah's like, oh, but I was just going, why are you answering me back? He said, go and apologise. And the kid starts getting a bit like frantic. Like, oh, no, but I was just going, and then he goes from disciplining in English to straight oh, Arabic, bro. Oh. oh. So I, did you just, sorry. oh my God. Oh, I thought that's where he was going. Oh, no. no. Oh, sorry. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Don't live your truth. I've been telling you to My live bad. your truth. Don't live your truth. That's the truth. So he, it's too late. And no, uh, and no, but like you say, though, that discipline Arabic is, is mad. <laughs> so, People on the beach started running. So I went looking, and I, so Naomi's down the beach with our daughter. I'm, just, I'm, facing, I'm facing the sea. Just, I can't turn my head. It's too awkward. <laughs> he, he shouted too loud. I, I can't speak Arabic, so I'm not going to do the impression. But you knew, you knew it was... But so I'm saying impre- mad. Do the impression. Do the impression. That's the story. Yeah, it's true. I have to do the impression, you have to really. Do the impression. Fair enough. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be like, I'm, really, I'm really looking forward to this impression now. Yeah. Right, so, right, let's, let's, let's get into the back of the throat. Yeah, yeah. Believe so, in yourself. Okay, browsers. <laughs> so, pause. So, so he's like, I go apologize. Go and apologize. And the kid's like, no, I don't want to apologize. He's like, I'm back on the stuck up. <laughs> like that, yeah. And I was like, oh no, I'm not. I'm facing, I'm facing it in front, in front of it. And he's like, and he's going English and Arabic, English, Arabic, English, Arabic. Yeah, you getting, big man. And he's getting more and more mad. And then I just start hearing, just, I was like, oh my God, oh my, I can't, I can't, I can't look, I can't uh, look. Uh, these licks are sounding furious. And he's like, go and apologize. And the kids, he's lost it now. 
the ki- the kids now yeah. head gone. Yeah, the kids. He, he can't on he's, he's he's all over the place. He, he's just like I just want this beating to stop. You do you even <laughs> want the apology at this point? Do you even at, want at the this apology? Point, I'm like, it's, it's kind of not worth it, man. <laughs> so, I'd want but, the apology. But, <laughs> but, but here's the thing. So here's here's the five thing. See this this is where you're like my wife. So the mum sees this, thinks we need to take another approach. Like the kids' mum. So, right. Yeah. So he, she like takes him away and stuff and then goes and finds my wife and goes right you're gonna go and apologize now he still doesn't want to he's just still too upset and then naomi goes i'm waiting for an apology holes oh! <laughs> then <laughs> and, and you can see that the, the mom looked at her as if to go oh, come on like, he's, he, he's here and she's like she's nah, nah. Road. yeah she's like you need you need to you need to I apologize. Need the apology and then he eventually apologised and she goes, oh, I appreciate your Let me tell you something right now. If that dad had beaten that kid unconscious <laughs> and they've got, right, we've got to take him to the hospital because that's the responsible thing to do. Yeah, as you do. I'd have given the dad my socials so he knows where he can find me afterwards to give me that apology. <laughs> <laughs> and not in the comment section either, bitch. <laughs> So this was happening. The I kids, want to see a DM request. The yeah. kids fully on life support, and they're like, "We're gonna turn off the machine." And the man who comes up, no, goes, "No, you're no, not. No, no. He's recovering because I want that apology." <laughs> he just like, he, he's not coming back though, sir. Give no, him he, enough he strength will. to say two words. You know I mean? I, I'm gonna run the marathon to raise money for this child. So he that, comes that, back. That's what I would do. He comes I back. want that apology. And he says, <laughs> "Everyone's like, oh, Emmanuel, you raised a hundred thousand pound for for this children's hospital. So I don't care about the hospital." <laughs> I want my apology. <laughs> the, kid, the kid comes out of a three-year coma. What, what, do you want to, what do you want to say to this man who raises my for you? Thank you. Wrong, no, right, no, wrong, wrong two words. Wrong, 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 wrong words. He's correct. He's correct. He's like, well, I can't remember. I'll, 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 at that point, because I'm, I'm, I've had time to calm down now, I'll say, look, you've had three years in a coma to think about what you did. <laughs> I'm expecting a decent apology now. Like, I'm but talking. But you want it verbal? I want monologue. I want a lot of monologue. <laughs> yeah. Not a long one. I'm not an arsehole. Yeah. But I want. A good couple of minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably his whole vocabulary. He's going to use apologizing to you. That's his business. Don't, don't, don't look in my bag. See, until you said like his dad had a go at him, I was fuming. You raised I was fuming because I know how I would deal with it. Yeah. And I know it's things that I know it's not the right way. Mm. But it's, I, I like saying, getting to the point as quick as I can. Right. So if I turn around and there's a kid, I was like, you want to fuck off right now, mate. That's, <laughs> that's about it. That's See, all I'm saying. And this is what I'm saying, because I'm, li- I'm a light touch. I know I am. I'm a soft touch when it comes to kids, right? Then, um, because like I said, my wife's a teacher, she knows how to talk to other people's kids. I don't. So st- stuff used to happen like in, in soft play and I'll just let it slide. And she's like, Oh, you can't let that happen to Zadie, like because she needs to see that you've got her back. And da, da, da. I was like, no, do what you're right. But I just don't know how to talk to kids. And then I go, but I'll do better. So we was at um, we was at um, Paradise Wild Wildlife Park, and Zadie's going down the slides. I just see this kid's he's like Zadie's what he's going to turn two soon. This kid's about eight or nine. Oh, big kid! Just 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 grabbing the puff on her head, just doing that, and just I'm thinking, like, what, of, of, a, he- of, of a black woman, of a black. Woman. Young, don't act like chicken. you can now. <laughs> <laughs> so, as she comes to the slides, I'm like, yeah, I go, Zadie, I go, Zadie, wait here. I go, wait here. And then, because I, I, I take lessons very literally. So I said, wait here. And then when that boy came down the slide, I go, listen, don't touch that girl ever again. And he was just like, <laughs> he's, he's like yeah, yes, 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 sorry. And I go, all right, go play. <laughs> <laughs> I'll kill you. Yeah, and then I was like, hey, Naomi, guess what? what? I told this kid. <laughs> and she's like, yeah, what happened? I told you. He's like, oh, no, that, no, no, that's not. That's not See, that. like, you're too gangster, man. Here's what the do thing. Do? You've been too right. hostile. What do I do? Here's, here's, here's what I, I, I teach my kids as well, because I don't believe in right and wrong. I think stuff happens because people are different. Yeah, yeah. So I, I've, I've taught my kids that in any situation, there's three ways that you can deal with something. There's the way that society says you can do it. There's the way that you're going to do it. Yeah. And then there's the way that daddy does it. Now, sometimes <laughs> all these three might be the same. Mm. Sometimes all these three might be very, very different. Mm. But you've got to, only through real trial and error, is how you figure out your way and how you're going to do yeah, stuff. Yeah. 
because I think what you did was quite nice. I, I, my, my son, we didn't cut his hair for years. He had long, curly hair. And I remember walking down the road with my child and this lady came up and went, oh, look, and she, like, put your hand out to touch his hair. Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 and I'm like, under arrest. no. But I didn't let go. I was like, don't do that. Like, that, what I, makes you think that that's okay? Because hold on to her arm gives her real time to think about what the yeah, fuck she's doing. Like, what she's doing. Why cops on me? Because I'll tell you the hard part, because emotion plays a big part, you think, mm. as parents. 100%. So I didn't realise how much I could love a person. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And that then grew to, I didn't realise how protective, yeah, how like, much, how to an insane level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I had my daughter come back, and, and when my kids come back from school, I always ask them how their day is. I want my kids to be able yeah, yeah. to converse. I was like, what did you get up to today? Talk to me about school. And one of her friends... I can't remember this kid's name because I fucking hate her. She was... <laughs> Visceral hate of a six-year-old. I love it. <laughs> no, seriously, I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> so even now, like, I'm fuming. <laughs> and <laughs> and I, 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 I take a lot of deep breaths at home. Because she came back and basically this, this, this girl decided... Um, this girl decided that she wasn't going to play with Chloe anymore, which is fine. In your house? No, 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 at school. Oh, right. Because I was like, in, in my house, get out. Because <laughs> I did it. I was like, it's time for you to go home. But my dad that, is that outside. I'm not, you. I'm not taking Boy, you home. That's your business that, now. Oh, no. Out you go. <laughs> Boss man. My, my dad is not here. Yeah, you sorry. had a big mouth a minute ago. <laughs> <laughs> but this. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> All, all, all that happened was this girl told <laughs> Chloe, like, to her face, I don't want to play with you anymore. And she was telling me that. And I, I had to take a deep breath because in my head I'm thinking, fucking slag. Where is that? <laughs> I'm fuming. I was like, she's a dickhead. Let's go and talk to her parents now. But then you've got to sort of take that. And it took me a lot to, like, not react <laughs> yeah. straight away. and take Because even when I'm, like, just out and I have to, like, really pull myself back yeah. To go, don't react to this straight right. away because I'm I'm livid. You like in my mind, no one's allowed to be horrible to my children. Mm. Yeah. No, no, yeah. I like to to see them upset or it, it hits differently now. Yeah. Mm. See, now, so because Naomi knows how to, she knows how to temper it and be like, all right, it's a one. Okay, here's a two. Here's a three. Here's a four. Like, Again, do that. scales are relative. Whereas I, see, so you, so you I did this. I'm, I'm, you were like this. Here's a one. Here's a two. Here's a three. Here's my scale. Here's a one. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm up there already. Yeah. I, mean, I, I go one prison. There's, <laughs> there's see, reprimand see, prison. My, my, my gears are like this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, tens over there. <laughs> so it's a thing of I, I underreact to things because I know it's it's too quick to shift up the gears yeah. for me. So yeah, I do that. So I'm um, so no, I was like, oh, you got to say something. It, it could be like kids, it could be uh, workmen in the house, whatever. I'm like, ah, oh, to what? Just, just leave it. Just leave it. And she's like, no, but why? Why do you always let people do this? Stuff? It's like because I know myself. I know the reaction, that, and it's long. Yeah, it's just long because if I if I go there, then you'll be like, oh, Darren, calm down. I'm like, yeah. I can't now. Yeah, we're fucking here now. Yeah, this is it. This is, I... this is the Darren we've got now. <laughs> this is, we're here. This is what's happened. This is what's happened. <laughs> now I'm raising my voice. I know I'm talking now. I don't want to talk now. <laughs> 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 it's, it's like... I think we spoke about it on the pod before when <sighs> I was like, I, uh, I, I was saying I don't, I don't react to stuff because I, would, my reaction is like. It was episode Suicide Bomber. I'm going to blow everything up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Everything's yeah, yeah, coming yeah, yeah. down. So everyone's going down. And it's yeah. like, it can't be a thing where, especially if it's people I know, mm. where I can come back next week, like, in-laws or whatever, and be like, hey, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I so the, the window's still broken. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. I've fucked it all up. Because yeah. I'm, it's going off. So I just oh, go, man. okay. Yeah, there's, so there's, like, there's been time where I sort of have that argument in my head. And then get to the end point and go, right, I'm not doing that. So there's been, there, we've been in situations where some things wound me up. Mm. And I'm like, right, we're leaving, everyone. And I'm up, we're all going. And you and everyone well, knows what that means. I'm ice cream, daddy. Let's get up, let's go. And we're you know out, what I've learned here. so far is that if you're not in that car... <laughs> <laughs> we're going. Like, <laughs> if you're not in that car... Because <laughs> yeah. I'm the same. Like You, yeah. you can't... 
You can't. Uh, it's, it's like see the Avengers when he goes Hulk's. Yeah, it's about time you got angry, and then he turns into Hulk. You can't go too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what you asked me to do. This is what you asked me to do. And and now. again, now I'm annoyed. Mm. And then you want to calm down. I've got, I've got to burn something now. Now I've got. <laughs> and, and the irony is because my daughter has got a temper. Yeah, she's got a temper, and I'm just like, I don't know where this temper's from. I go, I do. She goes, where? I go, it's me. I can literally see myself in this child. I go, that is what I am on the inside that over years and years I've had to go, don't be that guy. Don't yeah. react like that. Don't mm. react like that. Don't react like that. Don't react like that. And, and then I'm now this super chilled, relaxed I even guy. see that in my son. Yeah. Like at 10 months old, like he, and I'm so, it's crazy. I'm so happy. Yeah. yeah that he's got his, this temper. Yeah. And stuff like that. He's baby in it. Yeah. That kind of stuff you can be like, you can manage a bit better, but I can't wait to tell him, don't ever change. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't ever change. Even on a real one, because like so many portions of my life, yeah, yeah. people have been like, like I went to school in, in, in Bexley. So mm. I'm the odd one out, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And they just have this thing of you, angry black boy, yeah. Yeah. bloody, bloody, blah. You get angry, you're aggressive, you're this, you're that. And then you're kind of like, all right, well, let me just res- keep, keep, keep myself reserved. Yeah. Mm. And it gets to a point when it's like, like today I was just van parked behind me, not in mm. a space yeah. kind of thing. And it would be really difficult for me to get out. And I just got in the car and I was like, I'll figure it out. And then I was like, nah, don't be a bitch, man. Just go <laughs> up to this window and be like, can you move back? And I went to go get out of the car and be like, yeah, I'm like, proper trusting myself. Like yeah. you saying, like, yeah, yeah I'm going to fucking tell this guy, yeah. right? And then he moved back and I was like, oh, so I didn't, but I was happy that I was ready to go yeah, and yeah. do it. Yeah. So I want my son to be like, I want it, you to be like, speak practice. your mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speak your mind. Say it how it is, right? If you, if it's if it's not a big deal or whatever, if nothing's happened that's wrong or whatever, mm. I'll have your back 100%. Yeah. Just fucking so say this, it. This, so this is the thing, and it is an important point. Uh, so that's something I, I've all... That's why I had to learn. Yeah. Because it's too easy for me to be seen as the aggressor. Yeah. Yeah. I could mm. be in the right, but the moment you start seeing me swinging... Angry black guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it was the question. I, my thing is, I will give people rope to hang themselves. Mm. So I've now got very good at arguing and keeping calm when in my mind I am fuming. Yeah. yeah. But so, I'll yeah. stay calm until that person shows themselves to be the arsehole. And the rule we had when I was a bouncer is never throw the first punch. Yeah. Mm. Then it's not your fault. Someone throws a punch in you, especially when it's like visible to people around. Mm then you can react to it. Mm. But you've got to, like, don't be the person that starts it. And like I said, when people, it is, it, I, I've just, I've just uh, come back from Glastonbury and um, I was packing up my tent and I, I pulled my car onto, in, into the little space and I'm literally, everything's in the car. I'm zipping up my bag for the tent and this guy comes up, he goes, move your car. And I was like, what, like a worker there? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And I, I, I said to him, I'm, just, I'm literally, I'm just going to pack this up and then I'm going to, then I'm leaving. So mm. I'll, I'll move it. And then he's having a puff and he's going, your key's in the car. I'm like, yeah, but it's my car. <laughs> yeah. And he went to move the car. So, no, no. And I, even this, I was oh, polite. He's, about to, he's move about, about to move my car. And I was polite. I was like, I'm, I'm not comfortable with you moving my car. I'm literally going to be done in 30 seconds. Mm. And then he's gone, just move the car. I was like, okay, first of all, it's please. You want someone to do something, mm. then ask me nicely. It's please. And he's gone, every fucking year. I was like, have you got something you want to say to me, mate? Oh, oh, okay. And literally just stood like so. I'm just, but it wasn't like aggressive. The car oh, I got, was he my, my height. Oh, we're both, we're both oh shit. Yeah, oh, I, that so was the first thing. This, 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 when you said he went, move your car, yeah. I went, this guy's. Fucking so brave. At, so at this yeah. moment, I, if I was there, I'm at the I'm at the car and I'm now pretending to pack my car because I'm just watching this shit. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just holding you the tent. You're emptying shit back up. Yeah, Did yeah, I yeah. leave the fucking... Where's that piece of the tent? Yeah. I am TMZ. Hey, man, hey, was, <laughs> got the, the, way, the way he done it, I was just like, like if you've got something you, got something you want to say to me. Hmm. But it was the calmer I got, the more power he got. He was just like, I've underestimated this situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, he can wait there for 30 seconds. I'm literally going to put this bag in the tent and then I'm going. 
There's no need for you to speak to me like that. Mm. But if there's anything else you want to say, now's the time to fucking say it. Mm. And you see, they just go, and then walk off. I was like, it didn't need to be that. Because yeah, yeah. I'm like, 10 years ago, that would have been a completely different situation. Were yeah. you ready for anything? When you, when you, got, <laughs> yeah, when yeah, you yeah. got that angry? Were Literally, when he said for... that, my, <laughs> see, that's the thing, we were saying about temper, like, and I like that side of me, I'll be honest. Like, yeah, I, I grew like up playing it. rugby. I like the physical outlet. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. So when he said that, there's so too many parallels. There's too bad. many parallels. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, might, I, might, shave, I might shave my head when I go. When he did that, my brains and I went, come on, let's go. <laughs> so the kid in you is like, we're okay. Yeah, we're like, we're, we're gonna I'm like, scrap. right, I'm ready now. Because mm. you've crossed the line, you've taken the piss, and there was no need for you to speak to me that way. And plus, you've done it in a public situation, and I will never allow anyone to disrespect me that way, especially in front of other people. I'm mm. not having that message that anyone can talk to me any which way they want to, because mm. I wasn't being rude to you. Mm. All I was doing was packing away my tent and leaving. The car, it's not like I parked in front of your car. Mm. The car weren't there when I started parking. Yeah. When I, when I pulled up to get my tent out, th there was no car. He was coming to get his tent. Yeah, so he was doing the same thing you were he doing. He was doing the same thing I was doing, and I just happened to be where he wanted to go. Mm. Like, it shouldn't have been a big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now you, you, you've taken it there. But, like, again, you it took a long time for me to learn how to not go there straight away. Because, like I said, calm, one, prison. Do <laughs> you think your bouncer years helped train you in that? Yeah, 100%. Mm. 100%, because there's been situations where... I've reacted and gone, I should not have done that. Right. Mm. I, I, I remember there was once, and now I got I got nicked for this. This kid. As, and, as the bouncer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, kid, this, this kid. Um, He's the oh, SIA. Shut up, man. <laughs> <laughs> get get nicked in the mouth. Yes. That's crazy. Get in the mouth. <laughs> this one, I, 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 was, I was working as a bouncer. And the weird thing is, I was in the right at this point. And I've, I've, I've got friends of mine that are police and I told them like the next day what happened. I was like, right, what do I say? Because mm. I'm, I'm getting questioned. Like oh, that's happening. Shit. And we, we'd, we'd walk this guy out, not even thrown him out, we literally walked him out. Yeah. And he decided he wants to come back here and was like, look, and we were closing in like 10 minutes. Okay. I was like, dude, there's no point. Mm. So we're walking off now. He thought it was a good idea to pick up a pole off the floor and crack me around the back of the head with it. And I was just like, Turn around and was like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> was it like the movies where you did the not That is literally, do you remember Dude. the My Wife and Kid episode when they were gonna, they're trying to attack the um the girl's dad that's the in junior. Oh, and well, they yeah, threw a rock at his head. What's his name? And it breaks a Calvin, oh, and it Calvin, breaks in half. It. And he's like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> and then he goes, he broke the rock, Jay. <laughs> he broke the rock. He's like, he's, he's hit me with this pole. And I've turned around and he's gone to raise it to hit me again. So I hit him first. Literally, mm. I punched him in the face. Mm. Yeah. But it no, wasn't so think, much... I don't think you did hit him first. I think the pole hit you in the head. No, I mean, as I turn <laughs> oh, around, okay, so yeah, he's, yeah. Gone, to face he's gone to swing at me again. Yeah, so I've reacted to yeah, it oh, yeah, and yeah, I've yeah. hit him. You dropped. Uh, yeah, yeah like he was out, he, but he was out cold before he hit the ground. Oof. To oh. the way, when he hit the ground, I was like, oops, I've killed him. Like he was not moving. So mm. And oh, you, you do, you, at that point, I was... You, you, you think of you every other situation that this could have been. Yeah. And it's like... I should have pushed him. I should have pushed him. Yeah. I should have, <laughs> you should have hugged him and kissed him and said, don't worry it about was, it. <laughs> even down to... I should, I should have looked on the floor to make sure there was no poles on the floor. Like, really yeah. unrealistic stuff. Mm. But it was... The, the time from him lying there and then blinking felt like about a year. Mm. Oh, I can imagine. Because I know what happens <clears throat> yeah. at, at that point. Mm. And it was, it was... But then, again, you go home thinking... I'm, huh, I'm lucky because that could have gone a different way. Could have been an I, I know a, I know a bouncer Imagine. who someone pushed the bouncer, but the bouncer was so big when he pushed him, the guy that pushed him fell backwards, <laughs> like he was that big. Mm. And a, you're giggling now. <laughs> the guy that pushed him fell backwards, tripped over, hit his head in the curb, and died. You laughed at that. Damn! Wow! Wow! Son of a, wow. wow! Darren, man! Wow. Zero remorse. No, I mean, <laughs> he stayed in the pocket. Don't, don't push and, people. And that and that do <laughs> and that dormant went to prison. He learned that day. Who? Yeah, the bouncer, went, the to bouncer went to prison. For what? Um, for having it's, for someone having, was going to get blamed. Having that. a good sense of gravity. Like, what did he do? No, I'm, I'm like, like nothing. No, I'm pissed off. Like, my, 
Uh, what else could I do? <laughs> no, he, what he didn't I even do, do it. Oh, I li- imagine a lawyer defending their client and say, what? I'm he got a s- good set of like, um, No, nah, that lawyer's insane. shit. That guy got to listen. No, Who is fucking Lionel Hutz from Simpsons was his lawyer? What the fuck? How am I going to prison when someone pushed me? Yeah. They fell over and died. It's like, I'm now in prison for what? Manslaughter? Yeah. No, but my lawyer's shit. I'm... I'm I'm fucking. I'm it's what. So it's a, not. It's what, not. Man's a, I want to wind up so he pushes. Have you ever seen the program called One Punch Killers? When they're yeah, like, yeah, and yeah. it's accidents. Yeah. Where people have got to like fight. Yeah. That, that, that happened in my in my town. Someone died like uh, one punch. It, and it's they, it's like, nuts, so. and it's little things like that where you go, I need to calm it. I need to yeah. calm it down. No, so I'm, I've got better at handling those situations. But the problem is, when it's me, it's fine. When it's my kids. That level of yeah. emotion is oh, just, yeah. Yeah, it's heightened now because that's, that's, that's your, their kids. Yeah, that's yeah, your child. They're gone. They're gone. Yeah. Up until, up until obviously my son was born, he, obviously he's, he's young now, so not, not much has really happened. There was one situation where it was him actually, so it doesn't really matter, but this older kid kept entering the ball pit. I agree with that. Yeah. This was um, cool. took, taking his plastic balls and stuff, yeah. and my son just slapped him. <laughs> and I was like, first. <laughs> don't, don't let anyone take your shit but then there, when I took him there was this older kid just diving in the ball pit my yeah. son's like six seven months at this Every point time. So he's, he's just time. about sitting up yeah. he don't know what's going and on yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's forgetting that there's balls in his pit every 30 seconds yeah. and then finding him again like <gasps> What the fuck? <laughs> you well, know? I would and love to know what to know what that feeling's like as well. That's amazing. Yeah, and this kid just keeps diving in, and I'm like, I'm 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 gonna beat up a seven year old. See, this is what I'm saying. In those moments, before I just don't know how to talk to that kid. So what happens is I end up looking for the kid's parents. Yeah, and I stare at them in such a way that I think I'm sending them the way to go talk to your kid. Mm. What ends up happening is they go. Shall we go home now? And they leave. I'm just yeah. like, oh sure. shit! I, I had to turn my look down. Oh like, yeah, I, I looked down <laughs> too hard. I, was, I, I, I thought I was looking on six, but I looked on ten. I yeah. Was like, um, either of you tried to speak to a parent where the parents like, no, what my son's doing is fine. And that's why I can't talk because I don't know how to handle that. Because my okay. next answer would be like, are you are you, are you a dickhead, brother? You know, yeah. It's now. I'm saying. Uh, now See, I'm, I'm, I have to. That's when I'm like, yeah. we're leaving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's where I'm going. Yeah. yeah. So I was yeah. like, right, we we we've, we've need yeah. they don't need to see me be yeah. this angry. Mm-hmm. We're leaving. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. O- own previous things up like post school that would make me switch is any like obviously any disrespect to my mum. Like that was Ooh. a switch. Yeah. yeah, and like I don't know if people say it just for like you, you glamour, had to but it's well. red mist. Right. It's like you, you don't. You, it's you like tunnel vision. Yeah, yeah, and it's just all system go. But do you, do you, are you one of those people when you get angry that you know your target or are you like anyone that's in my vicinity? No, so say like with me and my dad, when, we, when me and my dad got into it, I knew very much, oh I'm God. just, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> if that was the case, I, I wouldn't even be a comedian. <laughs> I'd be fine, wouldn't I? <laughs> I'll, I'll just be out here talking shit from behind me. <laughs> and what? Yeah, yeah. fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> um... But yeah, it was very, it was very lineal. It was like I'm going for this guy, and mm. that's it. Um, like all my cousins were like, God, stop, 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 stop. I'm not onto them like that. Cause yeah. I, I've seen it before. Like it's just stupid. Like I was watching, I saw this clip where Jocelyn from uh, Love and Hip Hop, she was fighting someone in the car park lot. She'd beaten up this girl, and then random people that were there, she was giving verbal so slapping them too. <laughs> so so just everyone was just getting slapped. So I was like, right, like when I've been mad before, but I've always known my target. But I just wondered if other people when they get mad. Is it like anyone that's in the way of getting to their target? Is is the, are they fair game or do they become fair game? I think fortunately, anytime I've really kicked off, <clears throat> it's been quite significant people around me. Mm. So in that moment, the only thing that I would be able to hear is my mum's voice. Yeah. Okay, everything else is irrelevant. It's just white noise. Yeah. yeah. So I can hear that it cuts through me and I stop. Um, like when it was my dad, my mum wasn't there. And it's my cousin and stuff in front of me. Just, so just I'm nice. not scrapping them. Yeah. That's yeah. long. Like, um, so it's never been just like randoms. Yeah. But like in school, like if you're backing your boy or like you're, nah, we'll, we'll then just get out of the way in it because I'll fight you as well. Woo! Sure. When it comes to school stuff, it's, it's, because you haven't got the, there's a level of maturity that you haven't reached yet. Mm. And you're, it's like you have to react. Yeah. yeah. And, you and do, you have to almost set a Oh, your mum yeah. joke. Like from the person that you weren't tight with, Ooh. 
Yeah, it's on you site. have to fight. Your mum joked, stepping on new trainers. I have to fight you now. <laughs> yep. Those, those. Do you know what? We, we used to sometimes like start fights. If, say like you're walking down. Yeah. And I'd be like, oh! And you're going to be, what happened? Yeah. Oh, I'm not saying because I'm not a grass, but if someone said that about my mum, no, nah, I wouldn't have it. Yeah. Oh. No one yeah. said anything. <laughs> No one said anything. And then, but now you've got, who said it? Yeah, well, I'm yeah not, you got to defend her honour, I'm, I'm not saying who, but, you know what I mean? I'm not going to say, because I'm not saying. Yeah, yeah, then, then like, I have to go to Darren, and I have to say, yeah, yeah. like, Darren, the Darren, I didn't say anything, and but then, I'm not a dick. I was like, what, are you going to let me say it to you? Yeah, no. That's what happened, because I'm not a dick, but yeah, I didn't say anything, but what if I did? Yeah. And then there was just like, where is this fight now? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's a fight. We have yeah. to fight. <laughs> and he's like, yes. <laughs> Sometimes you throw a pet from a fire and I see Yeah, for sure. I used to be so happy to see like other people scrap and get in trouble besides me. Yeah, I'd be like, yeah. swear down, this is what it looks like from this side. This yeah. is lit. <laughs> no, I don't know. But when I went to school, like I say, in school in Bexley, when I got to this school, there's like four black kids in the school. Mm. Like four or five. Like yeah. me and my best mate and one other in our year. This other kid that was never spoke and then someone in this boy in year 10. So <clears throat> as soon as you turn up, everyone knew each other from primary school yeah, or yeah. whatever, football, or they lived on the same road. I knew no one. I'm coming from Lewisham to Bexley and I'm like, what the fuck? And everyone wants a piece yeah. straight away. So in my first year, I fought people in my year. Then I went up and fought a year nine. Oh, and won that. Classes. <laughs> yeah. 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 You pound for fought, pound. Cause fought a year 11. You fought year 11. What year were you? Huh? What year are you? I'm in year seven. That, year that, seven, that, year seven been, and that shouldn't have been allowed. Yeah. Year seven that and eight. Have been was it small year 11 though? It weren't like the big... Year. No, Cause, the year... Because I, I, I picked my fights. The like, year 11... <laughs> like, when, when I beat up a year nine when I was year six, he no, was the, like year... the smallest year nine. <laughs> no, the but year nine... record still showed I beat up a year yeah. nine. The year nine was my, was my title fight. Yeah. So I, and yeah. the year 11 was like... Like a good journeyman, yeah. To like, have my first defense against, yeah. Because so I, cool, I came yeah. into secondary school, and then I went back down like to my guy. weight class. <laughs> everyone knew. Everyone yeah. knew. When I came to school, everyone's going, "Tim, is this the year six that beat you up?" And yeah, just yeah. Like, No, I was on a bus like, oh. once, yeah. And someone was kicking off with the year nine that I beat up, yeah. And um, he was like, "Is he's, he's like, I'm not gonna fight you. I'm not gonna fight you. I'm just gonna get the year seven that beat you up to beat you up again." Oh. And I'm in the back like, oh. "Whoa, <laughs> this is nuts." And people started coming up to me like, um, like a fighter, like, when's your next fight? And I'm like, <laughs> when's you know, your next bout? And you started selling tickets. Do you know what? I, di I, I didn't know how to fight until I got my child and lost my temper, first mm. of all. Um, and it wasn't through lack of trying. It's just when I was, I've always been like bigger than most of the kids. Yeah, yeah. So if I start, and this is, you think this is the same, same thing. In my, in my school, um, there was maybe seven black kids mm. in my year. And this is like the era of Passenger 57, Wesley Snipes, yeah. Blade. So everyone was like, oh, he must be able to do all that. Because <laughs> As soon as I turned up my school, you can rap in it. <laughs> right? Above the rim. <laughs> all of these films that like people started watching, that were like, a lot of them, even negative stereotypes, they, you were tough and cool. Yeah, so yeah, all I had to do, cool. I, I'd like just shout, yeah. Yeah, 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 and people yeah. would back down. Yeah, yeah. And then I got used to being able to like just shout more out. Oh, that used to be me. And then <laughs> the first time I got, yeah. the first time I got punched in the face, uh, the, the tears were real. Like I never, not a, I'd been see Nigerian. I've been beaten before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I taken yeah. a backhand. Yeah. But I've never been punched in the face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, it's a different, it's a different sort of. And I remember assault. screaming at this kid. It's like, but then I got, I got too confident. And I egged him on because mm -hmm. I was like, I'm gonna make him look like a real bitch now, and I'm gonna offer it up, and he's just gonna leave. I was like, if you're gonna punch me in the face, punch me in the. Like, <laughs> 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 right, your eyes are watering, Jones, you can't, you can't see. And he's like, what are you doing that for? <laughs> I was, I was like, fucking joking, man. <laughs> and then I, I called. I was like, I can't have this now, so I called my cousin <laughs> to come. And things are like at this point, I may be. 13, my yeah, so my cousin. At this point, you're AJ after Andrew Ruiz. Everyone's everyone like, we, why is this happening to me? Why thought, do I feel like we this? We thought you were the guy. Right. We thought you were the guy. Uh, and then, <laughs> I, I caught my, my cousin was like, maybe 17, 18 at this point. Oh, so he's, he's, yeah, he's, so he's I've, I've caught, I've caught my, yeah, yeah. And like, he's he like, I, I grew up in Enfield. He was like, Edmonton top. Like, oh, he, okay. he was there. Mm. I called him, get down here. Told him, what, and he got down, I went, <laughs> like, like, tell me what happened. And I told him, and that's what you said to him. I was like, yeah. 
so is, he, is your cousin an Egyptian what? dance what? in born with beats? Why? <laughs> and, and he said, "Did you do it in Arabic?" <laughs> he, he, and he gave me the biggest lesson. He goes, "Make sure that your fist is bigger than your mouth." Mm. And I, I was like, "It's not what I need to hear right now." <laughs> and then he took me home and he told my mum what I did. And <laughs> and but after that, it was just like same thing. Make sure your fist is bigger. Than, like you, you had yeah. to Fendi fat. It was do. Because otherwise you're going to get yourself in, in trouble. Yeah. And again, it's all these little sort of life lessons that you get growing up mm. that, that changes your perspective oh, of, of everything. Listen, punches in the face are a real, real way of... Bro, I'm I telling you, so many kids now, Being yeah? slapped is worse than... I'd rather be punched than slapped. Oh, I've facts. seen it Slap outside. stings. Stays me. I've never lost my it's temper. Half of your space I've is never warm. lost my temper more than me. I got slapped it's, by, by yeah. my ex-girlfriend. Because it's, it's not... It's not the, even that. Like when someone slaps you, and I've seen this like outside a club mm, we're working, yeah. and I can't, I can't get involved now. Like you have two guys arguing. Oh, two guys. Sorry, yeah. These two guys were arguing, and like the they're getting ready to kick off. And one of them, he, <laughs> one of these guys, he's trying to tell him something, and he's interrupting him. He's just <laughs> going, "I'm talking," oh. and everyone are just, uh, oh. just like, "Fight's over, fight's oh. over." I was like, you could kill this guy you know, now and you're still the one that got slapped. Do you know how camp... <laughs> it's you game know, over yeah, for you now. Do you know yeah, how yeah. camp I'd be witnessing that? <laughs> What's all about getting slapped? I'd be like... Oh, oh, hi. I'd <laughs> <laughs> just be watching... It's like, remember when you're a kid you see your friend get told off by their mum mm, and they yeah. get slapped. You ever seen your friend get slapped by his mum? I see my cousin get <laughs> fucking <laughs> slapped. And then we're in the, we're in the um, <laughs> living room afterwards, yeah? And it's all because of something I did, but she snitched on me, innit? Yeah. So my auntie slapped her for snitching, right? But this slap... Remember wow. the joke I had on it? And it was like, she went down the... She, and this was like, in my, in my, in my memory... What did the cars get She slapped? went down <laughs> the hallway, yeah. right? Yeah. Landed. It was mad. Yeah. And then we're in the living room afterwards, and we've got um, a, a Muller Corner each, yeah, and we're eating it. <laughs> and, I just so and she's just like, she don't want to eat in it, and she's just doing the... <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just there like... <laughs> Slap see or see, I, or, I always felt bad, because even though I set up my cousins and stuff, I remember, I remember my godbrother, actually. He, he, he was the one kid I grew up with who was, who was smarter than me, and more sly than I was. Never got caught. Never got caught doing shit. I remember one day he got caught and my auntie beat him in the kitchen. I remember being so happy. He's like, finally he got caught. <laughs> I, like, I used to pray for times yeah, like this to grind like this so caught. I could grind. Yeah, with well, so after the second slap, I was like, okay, no, yeah, no, it's, yeah. he got caught. And then like, I was like, no, no. No, I, I actually, I had too much everything. So I, like, I actually feel bad. Yeah. Feel now so you're going to make sure he never gets caught again. So, so, now, so now we're sat in the living room and he's doing the... Stop I've never all. seen him cry before. He's never been. He's never been caught. He's that never cries the worst. Yeah. Trying to stop yourself from crying. And we're sat and then watching TV. I'm in his stop house. crying before I give you something to cry about. I'm yeah. in his house. I can't even. Offer what him do biscuits. you mean? I can't even offer him biscuits. It's his house. He needs to offer me biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> so, he needs some Ooh, milk. Tears. Yeah. Like, oh, all, all you can do is sit there patiently. Yeah. Just w- wait until they gain composure. And, and it, it, carry on. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> You brought it up too soon. <laughs> you, you tried to like, you tried, tried to sniffle it down. And it's just like, nah, but you got to check back then because there ain't no WhatsApp when you think to check in the next day. Yeah. Yo, last no. night was crazy, right? <laughs> nah. Mad, mad, mad. Anyway, just check it in and see how you are. <laughs> and all you just down. All you just think oh, is a I'm thumbs good. up reaction. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good, man. I'm still surviving. You try no, FaceTime now, but all you can see is the ceiling. They're not showing you their face. <laughs> But yeah, no, I, I, I'm interested to see like when if my son gets wronged, yeah, or even if he doesn't get wronged, but just my reaction to my yeah, son being in a situation. And, and for me as well, it's like with girls as well, because I've got girl and a boy now. Like I, I almost know, almost feel like I know how to teach my son how to deal with these situations. And yeah. Teach him those. Yeah. Try to talk your way out of it, but have these ready. I tell you what, have I these do. Ready to go, but my him. daughter. I was like, how, how do you, because it, it's, it, I think it's just a different call from the school, isn't it? If it's, oh, your son, they, they got into a fight in the playground versus, yeah, your daughter got into a fight in the playground. Yeah. Especially what we were talking about last time, those fights are so yeah, savage. So exactly. I've, um, both my kids do rugby. Yeah. They both started when they were four. 
They both now do judo. Yeah. They both do swimming. They both do gymnastics. So they can fight oh. underwater. <laughs> they can fight like, <laughs> like, like, like Ninja. I want Ninja Turtles. That's what was happening. <laughs> oh, where did you get the time to do all that? Is that look, one, it's, one it's, ag- No, no, no. It's, it's pretty much... Right now, we're in the off-season for rugby, so they don't have to do that. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. certain times of the year, it literally is four days of the week. Mm. And the, ni- the nice thing is, so one, it gives them something to do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, secondly, they're all activities that revolve around being disciplined. Mm. So, and that's the thing, like with, with rugby, the rules are the rules. Mm. You cut, there's no point on with the ref, yeah. and like, it, it, and, and you just don't. Rugby, and, do you? and you're gonna get, you're gonna get. Well, they'll march down. you back. Yeah. yeah. So you're, you know, disservice you're, 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 to yourself exactly. and your team. You're, you're constantly getting. You're, you're gonna take hits. You're gonna, you're, and you've got to learn to get up as well. Yeah, yeah. Because I think that's one of the biggest lessons I think you can, you can teach and have taught to you. That the, sometimes the hardest thing to do is to stand back up and carry on. And then with judo, it's learning how to look after yourself, but with restraint. Like that, because they. Th- this isn't like uh, when the first time I took them to do a martial art, it was karate, yeah. and that's just dancing, isn't it? It's dancing in the pajamas on your own. <laughs> no one was there doing. I was like, get in the car, we're leaving. I was like, I can't. <laughs> yeah. <do that." laughs> I was like, I'm not. I'm. I'm literally in the middle of the lesson, and no, in the car. I was like, that guy's got a black belt for what? What are you gonna do with that? Some brand work. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I literally drove him down to this this dojo near near our, near our house judo lessons like right in you go and he mm. loved it because now it was physical mm. and he's up against like he's he's a he's up against he's he's up against an 11 year old the other week mm. and he dropped this kid and i was like imagine being that 11 year old you can't go to school tomorrow until you're oh, yeah. Yeah, you got dropped by an eight-year-old and oh. it was a pro- like proper throw pinned down they but they know how to do that with restraint mm. yeah and and it's so when they're when they're older and they they do go out because one of one of noah's friends they were like play fighting and Noah's was looking at me, I was like, you think I'm paying for judo for nothing? He's like, you know what to do. <laughs> show me, <laughs> a, show <laughs> me your stuff. Show I was like, I was like so, you can't run about your legs, mate. You know the rules. And he took him down. And the kids stopped messing with him after that. Like, But it was, he didn't take him down to me. And he's done this in rugby when he's tackled. Because I taught him to tackle, mm. like, on me. Yeah. Mm. I was like, You've got to learn how to hit properly. So when he does that in rugby... He does it properly, but there's no aggression about it. Yeah, it's he, just pure it's just, technique. Yeah, <laughs> but he he know. And there was one kid that was being a r- bit of a bully because they play mixed rugby right now. Oh, okay. So this one kid was literally run up to the girls on purpose and hitting them with the ball, knowing that he could knock them out of the way. Mm. Oh. So Noah got annoyed at it and then just took this kid out. I was just yes, there you go. <laughs> That's it. That's but he it. done it with again zero aggression. Yeah. So I was like, if they could use these. Like these sort of activities, and again, it is hard, especially when you're working or like, you think as as comics, we're on the road a lot, we're mm. away. Yeah, how do you manage that with yours? I know we're getting out of time. Uh, how do you manage that it's, it is it's it's difficult. I I will commute, so rather than stay a, stay somewhere, I will just drive back. You do the three four hours. Yeah, drive I'll just I'll just get back because I'd rather have a couple hours of sleep and get up and take them to school, than if I'm up in in Leeds and then sleep till. 10 get up and I'm not home till 2, 3 yeah. and the whole day is gone mm-hmm. so I just and it is you get used to it but it was hard at the beginning sort of driving home yeah. then 3 hours after a gig to then fall asleep and get up in a couple of hours to do the school run but it's so worth it Yeah, that's, that's yeah. the thing it's you one of those if you do persevere through it it does it does pay off but it's it's hard so I'll, I've never got any judgement for anyone who finds themselves struggling or they can't do stuff because it is really difficult. Mm. Yeah, 100%. And where do you find time for gym and all that? I, I go every morning about six o'clock in the morning, half six. So before the school run? Yeah. But not if you've driven down from... Depends what time I get back. So it'll either be before the school run or after the school run, but I'll always start my day in the gym. Yeah. Dedication. Okay, let me that part I right need now, from me. Yeah, pure gym app. Let me stand up. <laughs> 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 you go, you're that, that's your next sponsorship, now, isn't it? <laughs> it's a gym. It's a gym kid. Sometimes I look at my old rugby pictures and I look at myself and I'm like, fuck it, mate. You used to be something. Yeah, I see. I've, I've, never, I've never been big, but I've been way leaner, way than shredded. Oh. As a shred, like just, just looking like a, just athlete, just looking like an athlete. I was like five <clears throat> nine, hundred and ten, could move. Yeah, and now I just look at myself and be like. I'm, I'm looking at my missus if someone breaks in. Do you know what? It is tough. Yeah. 
Do you know what is? As I stopped playing rugby and I, and I went to the gym for about a week after that, and then I just looked around and I was like, why am I here? Yeah. Because I was training for something. For rugby. Yeah. And yeah. I don't have anything to train for anymore. Yeah. That, that's very common with rugby players yeah. because we used to having a goal. Yeah. You need, and like, so now it's a goal, a, a weight. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? It, it took a long time for me to go, I'm now training f- for me. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. that's now my escape. Because mm-hmm. there are times where I, I, I've come home and, and I think you will be tired and people should be running around screaming or the house will be in, in a tip. And I'm just like, I, I need to get out. Mm. Mm. So I've got very good at taking myself away from the situation. Okay, you use the gym. All right, I've been using strip clubs. All right, let me switch it around. <laughs> okay, let me switch it around. See how that works for me, bro. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't even know if you've got time for the listener's question. I mean, uh, no one's popped in their well, head in yet. Well, All right, let's, I let's, guess we'll skip we'll, the top. We won't do the topic. Yeah, we'll, we'll do, do the topic. topic. Let's, let's, let's just do listener's question. Yeah. So this is a question of... T- my partner hangs out with his teenage daughter's friends. I find it weird. No, I'm done with the question. No. <laughs> no. So the part, no. The, the dude's 42. No. This no. woman writing's 40. She says that the, the partner's daughter's 16 and he be hanging around with the right. friends Hold and on. chilling. Are they together or is it like stepdaughter? No, no, they're, they're together. So he had the, the daughters with... A previous. With the previous... Right. Girlfriend So of his teenage man. daughter... He be hanging out with her and her friends. When you say hanging out, what do you mean? Like, they, they yeah, like, a party or a picnic or... Uh, he I goes out of his way to, like, give them, give them lifts, sometimes buys them takeaways. And, and why do they say sweets? Why do they say sweets? Yeah, like? sweets sound a bit <laughs> off. Yeah, it, it could be this sweet. Is bad. If you use sweets... Like, just, the, the, way, the way you phrased it at the beginning was, like, he's going, like, in a WhatsApp group with him, like, when are we all going out? He's going, Amadeus. Well, they message him. <laughs> they message him. He messages back. His daughter friend message... Me, they, they, they message him. Yeah, they're, 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 they're in a WhatsApp group. They're, 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 they're All I'm gonna say is that's not for me. <laughs> yeah, hundred. If that was any of you, man, immediately. <laughs> he faces yes. them as his mates. No, 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 no. Because sometimes you know you can try re- relive your youth. No, no, no brother. No. no. If you want to relive your youth, bruv, I don't know. Turn no. on Cartoon Network, bruv, and <laughs> think about the glory days. That's what, a what? chicken. No, he's right. Yeah, Watch bruv. Thundercats on yeah. your own. Put on a lot twenty nine tracksuit and go for a walk or something, yeah. bro. But I, 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 on the Averex. <laughs> yeah, me. But, <laughs> get me. Put this is now whatever on. And I'm side eyed this guy because it's the sheer fact that I I was on a train carriage yesterday, and four girls came on. They're probably early twenties, and I heard about a minute of their conversation. I just moved it's seats. Whack. I was, it's I, was, I, was, I, was, I, was, I just went to a different carriage. I was like, your voices. The carriage? You yeah. I moved to a different carriage. I, I don't want to hear it's your voice. Shit. I don't want to hear your voice. I didn't have headphones with me. I said, like, I don't want to hear your voice. Yo. Like, your conversation is so shit and fucking annoying. Bro, I feel like that with anyone under 25. Yeah. So I was like, I don't know how you could possibly hang out with kids. Because he's a pedophile. <laughs> It why have we not? Why have we not said that yet? Actually, sorry. <laughs> true. Why have we not brought it this is. to the forefront of the? Co- We're all here going like, "Oh, this is weird," or yeah, "Relive your lo- youth a different way." This guy's clearly an ex There's, ITV employee. You've got, you've got to do the maths on it as well. <laughs> it, let's say this. And they kid, say which one? To be this close, mm. if that kid's sixteen and they've been in a WhatsApp group for two years, it's everything about this is she needs leave. It's grooming. Leave, 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 leave. <laughs> Yeah, so he, yeah, he's, he's a weirdo. And why is this woman writing in? You're dumb. You're stupid, bruv. Yeah, like Maybe just she wanted our opinion. No, 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 no. She Don't wanted ever. an alibi. Listen, is what she wanted. Get a quick <laughs> message out there, yeah. All right, if you message into this podcast asking questions like that, I will, I will flag you up to safeguarding. I'll call every <laughs> multi-agency safeguarding hub in every borough, right? Yo. And find where you are, and because you're an accomplice to this, right? You, you. D- d- but no, they raise some concerns. There's concern. That's why they're right. But who in. doesn't know that? Yeah. Like, right. raise concerns. Let, Big man. Like, let, cool. Let, let, if I'm let, the woman, yeah. Raise concerns. Hi- hypothetically, let's play this scenario out. Let's You're go. the guy, I'm the woman, right? Mm. What, what are you doing tonight? Hanging out with Claire and her mate. Who the fuck? What the fuck Claire, are you doing? Claire's bro? my daughter. Yeah, so why are you hanging out with her mates? So they feel comfortable in the house. Nah, what? <laughs> See, nah, see. fam. Are you all right? See, I'm, I'm even well, as a woman, so I'm, I can't, I can't even as a woman, I'm getting road. Fam, so I, I I like you can hang out with Claire. What's send her a that? VO. That's visiting order for when you're in Belmarsh. I've seen it. <laughs> <Yeah>. It's the <laughs> top balcony. They don't <laughs> let you man out in the public when they come to visit. You're in the top balcony. Claire and my daughter. I have a good relationship with my daughter. What's it's your problem? One on one time. No, what? what Claire to be fair, I don't even trust friends. you around Claire. Fuck off out of the house. 
It's not even my kid, get out. Claire's my daughter, her friends are all right, we get along. What's no. the problem? We're getting a pizza tonight. Do you want no. some? <laughs> no. Just no. <laughs> You want some? You want some? Like, like, you? like, I'm hanging out with these kids with or without you. <laughs> right, like, like, who be all who has that conversation with their partner and goes, do you know what? I'm going to write in and get some advice on this. I don't know how to speak. To, but Because that means this person, I'm, I'm assuming that they've tried to speak to their friends and no one's come up with a good answer. They've gone, I've got my last choice. I've got right into the podcast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Late nights are wet white. We'll solve your issues. It's very simple. There's, you just type one number three times, 999. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Ask for Susan or whatever it is. What is it? Ask for who? Angela. 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 Ask for Angela. Ask for Frank. Ask for everybody, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's it is just it's just weird. It's just fucking weird. It is weird. There's there's no, not I, even I, your son's no, boys. No, but even then, no, I think that's weird. It's weird. Yeah. It's very it's weird. I do remember someone... But it's more like no, it's like it, like if it, my no, son's know, sixteen more, yeah. and they switch to P five on and I'm upstairs and I hear beep, I'm going down. I'm smoking everyone at FIFA. No, I'm not. I'm you're not playing, hanging out with you though, but I'm like, quickly, 10 minutes, let me show you what levels are, yeah? Never no, had like uh, someone's friend come and do you up at Pac-Man I'm, and then I'm bounce. Not, I might do it once, but even then, I just don't want to be friends with any of them. Do you but, know what? It's, it's, it's there, very there's Michael been, Jackson. It's building a whole... There's been around your, your kids' friends and yeah. then you're like, then there's hanging around Yeah, yeah your, like your if you can friends. chat to your kids' friends without your kid being there... It should, it should be awkward. That's yeah. nuts. It should be awkward. More than a hello, how are you? When they knock on the door, you, you talk to me as if I'm like your uncle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and then yeah. I'm gonna you be, I'll be around to name. lay the law yeah, 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 and yeah. get that respect, and then I'm out. You actually don't know my name. I'm Zavi's dad. I'm Zadie's dad. Yeah, that's, that's who I am. Yeah, for real. For real. That, that, for real. Oh, hi, 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 Mr. Hi, Mr. Zadie's dad. But just to play devil's advocate, if my son brings his friends around, right? Yeah. And we got like a big enough garden, and I've got a goal in there. I'm coming out, I'm lacing a few shots and then I'm going back That's in. It's yeah. just showing off to the yeah. missus. Yeah. Again, you you're, you're laying the law yeah. and then you leave. Yeah. FIFA, smack a couple of you duns up and then I'm bouncing. Yeah, yeah. but see, yeah. If it's not a thing of... But I'm not going like, your son's what are we doing today at night yeah. then, lads? Exactly. Yeah, what? Your son comes, your son comes back from Jude day, no, day no, when no. it's you I've and his mates in the garden playing football. <laughs> <laughs> So in summary, I'll it's have imaginary weird. friends before Get I have. Rich. Yeah, this guy yeah. needs to stop hanging out with his daughter and her friends. That's weird. That's some fuck up. No, shit. no, no. That's not summary. Summary is when these cameras cut, we're yeah. gonna find out who that is and we're reporting them. <laughs> you're getting you're getting snitched on. He, Hundred. He saw his cousin get slapped up for snitching, and he's snitching too. Is where it is. Leave but him. Circle of a life. Uh, leave him. You got leave. You yeah. got leave. You should be. Yeah, get rid of the guy, man. Oh, yo, yeah, leave piece him. of trash, yeah, yeah. man. Uh, piece yeah, yeah. is not good enough. Not when did that. he meet you? That's the real question. How old is she? Yeah. I swear she's like eighteen as well. Gotta be. No, 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 no. She, no, she's forty. They met forty six years. In dog years. That's been another episode of Late Nights and Wet Words. I've been Mike Crackadoo. This has been YS. You already know. Done no. <laughs> AKA Kazim Jamal. Uh, far left, we've got Daryl Griffiths. And our very special guest once again, Emmanuel Sanubi. And who have you been? The biggest racist in uh, uh, North uh, London. All right, uh, cool. Uh, uh, look, man, shout out the BBL, Black Brotherhood Lecture. Go get that. Don't be conscious, man. Don't let your mind be colonized out here. We need to support and the proliferation of the African people. Shout out them out. Thank you. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Done. Back. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> he said nothing about the West Indians, though, did he? The, no. a- African. The, uh, the African. Oh, African Kane. Yeah, yeah, African. African. No, I, 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 I,